is it? I mean, it's not, it's not all skinheads and swastikas. I mean, you can smile. You can smile. I still have hatred in your heart. The colour of my father's skin may not have been the reason he was attacked, but I'm willing to bet it was the difference between being beaten and being beaten to death. Yet, just a few weeks ago, you wrote this glowing reference. Am I right in thinking that your feelings toward your adoptive father, Mr Knight, cooled somewhat after you found out you'd been fostered and not, as previously supposed, the subject of a straightforward adoption? I don't think cooled's the right word. What word would you use, then? I was angry. You were angry. Yeah. And might that anger toward your adoptive father have coloured your depiction of him as a racist thug. No. Only it seems that your attitude toward him changed pretty sharply. I'm just telling you all the truth. But, you see, the problem is... your truth seems to be in this constant state of flux. Let me tell you what I think the truth is. Confused by finding out the truth about your early years, Furious at being betrayed, you lashed out and constructed this, this race-hate narrative and put your two fathers at the heart of it. The father that you never knew and the father that you blamed for that. No. I put it to you that you're using this court to punish the man who raised you. The man whose only crime was to try to protect you from the ugly truth that your birth parents didn't want you. No! Please sit down. Any more interruptions and you'll be removed from this court. I know you're trying to twist things. But I know what I saw that night. Well, you expect us to believe that? Even though you've never talked about it in all those years. I was traumatised, so I buried it. But I'm talking about it now. And I am telling the truth. Mm, just like your character reference was the truth. No, that, that was a lie. That whole statement is a lie. Then I suppose we have to ask, if you were prepared to lie then, what else might you be prepared to lie about? Because if a man can pick and choose when he lies, when he tells the truth, how are we meant to believe a single word he says?